In the shadow of the Apollo missions, the Soviet Union launched a series of groundbreaking circumlunar flights under the Zond program during the late 1960s. While the world focused on America's moon landings, Zond quietly pioneered techniques that would shape deep space exploration. Using modified Soyuz spacecraft, Zond missions tested critical systems for lunar flybys, including deep space navigation, life support for potential cosmonauts, and the first ever high speed re entries from lunar trajectories. Zond 5 in 1968 became the first spacecraft to circle the moon and return safely to Earth, carrying living organisms like tortoises, fruit fly eggs, and plants. These biological passengers survived the intense radiation belts and the searing heat of re-entry, offering invaluable data for future human missions. The program's precise navigation relied on star sensors and radio tracking, enabling accurate course corrections far from Earth. Although overshadowed by Apollo, Zond's achievements proved deep space travel was feasible and laid groundwork for later interplanetary missions. These missions demonstrated the Soviet Union's ability to conduct complex lunar flybys and re-entries, advancing spaceflight technology in ways still relevant today. Like, share, and subscribe for more untold space history.